Hi friends, it's this here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really fun accordion style little folder. And this is basically from an idea that I received from uh, snail mail that I got from Lynette. Hi Lynette, if you're watching. Um, so I showed you guys uh, the email that she sent me and I fell in love with this as many of you have as well. She did an incredible job of making this and right now it sits on my desk because it's just so beautiful and inspires me so much. So Lynette, thank you so, so much. I am in love with this. And Lynette was kind enough to send me a quick um, message on Instagram and she kind of gave me details on how she put this together. And based on the details she gave me, I was able to make something to show you guys. So I'm so happy to show you guys, um, you know, what I've come up with. But let me start with what you're going to need for this project, which is super easy. Um, actually, no, let me start here and then I'll tell you what you need to make this one. So I started with um, regular cardstock paper and um, I was thinking I wanted to again do some recycling, repurposing, and I happen to have this sheet of uh, 12 by 12. And so I cut it um, to fit some uh, uh, just, you know, mail that came like junk mail, I should say, that came um, to me. And as you can see here, there's like, you know, words and names and stuff. And so I created this just from something that came in the mail and I wanted to see how it would work and of course it works perfectly if I wanted to add anything to it but you can see because it's this kind of paper um, I think it's the glossy stuff that comes it's not very good at sticking at least the glue that I use so that was kind of like my first try at it and then um, I'm just trying to figure out where to put that there we go then I tried another one just with um, paper and this is just um, using and a half by 11 sheets of paper folded in a way to make the um, accordion and so that worked really well so I was thinking well this would be easy for a lot of you to make because a lot of us have eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and you know you kind of just need a piece of cardstock to go with it now the next one that I made was with paper bags and this was um, what uh, Lynette had suggested that she used in the one she made for me and so as you can see here, this one opens so much more and you still have, you know, the nice little envelope kind of closure and you can play around with whatever papers you want, you wanted to use if you have paper bags. Now I happen to have these pink ones, but then I also thought, well, I have a few others and um, I've got some Tim Holtz paper. And so that's where this one came out. And I love how this came out, you guys. And it is super easy so i'm going to show you hopefully without any issues with my video um, right now how to put this together um, i'll show you the base of it so you can kind of do what you want with it afterwards but it was so fun and it is definitely something that you all might have at home so i'm just showing you the back of it i love 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 how it came out so let me show you what you're going to need for this project which like i said it's super easy so you'll need two paper bags these ones I happen to have from Janine's shop at J9 Scraps, which I will link below. Hi, Janine. Um, I love this um, bags that she has. She has quite a, um, a few varieties, but this is my favorite, I think, because of the colors. And they happen to be the perfect size for this project, as you can see. So I am using two of those bags, and then you'll need whatever, um, you know, 12 by 12 sheet of paper you have. And I think I'm trying to figure out how this one went. So you've got your 12 by 12 sheets of paper, and basically you'll just be cutting it to fit the bags. So what I did here is I cut one half of it, not exactly at the six point mark, but just like a smidge over. So just a smidge over the six, um, the six inches mark as you know the, the kind of the width of it and I kept the um, you know 12 by 12 length so that will be kind of your base for holding the paper bags in and then the paper bags it's just as easy as one two three of course I'm trying to think if I should cut them before I, yeah I think I'll cut them now I could use a um, a paper cutter but I don't think I left it close enough for me to reach it so I'm just going to cut as I chat and so you'll need two banks, whatever size that may be. And the reason I'm not being too specific about the size of your little accordion folio, I guess that's what it's called. It's because it really depends on the bags that you have, or if you wanted to use, as I said before, 
um, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper, you could do something similar. I'll show you that probably in another video, but this one I'm sticking with the paper bags. So I've cut the ends of both bags so you can see here and you've got an opening and then I'm folding them to kind of make sure that they're even on either side. So I've got my first bag folded. I've got my second bag folded and you can kind of see how it's starting to take shape. So what I did for these is I made sure that I had the kind of the smaller opening of the bag facing front in the front of it. And then I did that for both bags. And now for the large sheet, you're going to be scoring it um, at a specific uh, spot. And again, that's because they fit my bags. So I'm just going to quickly show you where I scored this sheet. And again, it is for this particular project, but you can play with it, you know, just have fun with it and see what, what happens. Use some, you know, leftover paper bits so that you're not kind of using up your good stuff, I guess. So when this is folded, what I wanted to do is make sure that I had the, the kind of closure to the envelope at least like two inches. But if you can see, I kind of left a bit of like a little gap there. Um, I wanted to make sure that there's space for the bags to fill in everything. This side, I didn't do it for this one, but I will for this particular one. So what I did is I scored at two and then at two and an eighth. Okay. And that will give you that, that extra little kind of, um, kind of opening there. So you can have a little bit more space. Hopefully I'm showing this right. You can see it there. Okay. So back again, putting it down. So I scored that at two and then the two and an eighth. And then you go to the longer part of it and you score at seven and then just the next one after again. So when you close it up, you've got a tiny little parcel like this with just, you know, a little bit of um, an edge there for space if you can see it, okay? So that's, that's it for the, um, for scoring it. And like I said, um, you can do, you know, whatever fits your project best. So the next thing you do, which is the other super easy part, is you will be adding glue to the center. So now you can use a wet glue. I'm probably just going to use my, my uh, stick here. And I'm just making sure that I add glue to kind of like the center. You know, if I can eyeball it, maybe like an inch um, an, or an inch and a half into the center. And then I'm going to line my bags up and make sure that they are lined up properly because what I'm going to do is just kind of stick these two together. I think that's fitting okay. All right, so now this is the way that I'm attaching my bags to each other. They'll probably need to dry a little bit more, but just to show you how it's starting to shape up, okay? And then I'm going to do the same to the back, which is again, almost like you're kind of making a nice straight line about an inch, maybe inch and a half of glue. And then I'll just be attaching that to the back of my little folio. Again, making sure that it fits within and redo that and that's why I'm using this glue because sometimes you kind of need to just make sure it's nice and straight in there it's hard because I'm not like over the project you know usually when I'm crafting I'm like right over my project there so you can see how that's taking place there okay and then we'll do the same to the front easy peasy my friends and just be careful because of course uh, paper bags are a little fragile if you kind of pull on them too much they can rip um, again, you can use your um, preferred method of uh, adhering items. Um, I happen to like, sorry, I happen to like the glue stick. And so that's what I'm using for the project. And you can see now how that is taking place. Okay, so just making sure that it's got some nice glue adhered to it. And I didn't do the one in the center here. So I'm going to do the center of the bag as well. Because you kind of have to glue the bag onto itself. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well if I haven't done that yet. 
so I've got that going and I'm going to do the center again of the bag. So as you can see, I've attached the bags together to each other, but then I'm also attaching the insides of the bags also. So any part that's left that has not been glued on, you're basically gluing it together. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'll just give it a second to make sure that it's sticking together. And then you can see how that opens up. So basically you're gluing the bags together in the center and then you're gluing the bags to each other in the center and, and the front and back of the paper bags to your little folio. So now the fun part begins is where you get to decorate, you can add whatever closure you want, you can have Velcro, you can have, um, I don't know, magnets, and then you can decorate. I decorated this with some butterflies and some washi tapes and some stickers and just some, you know, beautiful pieces. And then I also added the brad to, um, to attach my string for the closure. But again, you can do whatever version of this you want. Now I have seen some ladies make different versions of this as well. So it's definitely not my idea. And like I said, I was kind of so inspired by Lynette. I love it so much. And so this is kind of my version. I'll end up decorating it and kind of doing some more cuteness to it so I can send it off in snail mail to a pen pal or a friend. And I hope you guys enjoyed the share and that it made sense. As always, questions, comments, please leave them below. And I can't wait to see what you do with yours. Thanks so much for stopping by.